Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Yoga Librium. My name is Heather. If you're new here, we're going to get started with this 90 minute sequence in Banana Asana. So, when you feel ready, go ahead and lie down on your mat. We'll begin by folding the knees in. We'll press into the feet. We'll float the hips up and over to the right to get started. Legs and torso will wiggle over towards the left so that you're making your way into this banana shape or crescent moon shape. Option, hook the right ankle over top of the left. Option, catch that right wrist with the left hand. And starting to relax into your first posture of class. as best you can, just starting to notice the quality of your breathing. Beginning to notice the sensations in your body. Noticing any chatter in the mind. And as much as possible, really trying to be as present as you can be just by letting go of any attachment to thought, sensation, just focusing on observing and being aware with your breath. And I know that sometimes a 90 minute class can seem like a big investment seems like a long time to be committing yourself to a yoga practice like this, especially when you have the distractions that surround you at home. But the more that you can cultivate this sense of presence, the sense of being aware of how you're feeling in every single moment, you'll find that the time will really start to fly by as you enter that deep, timeless state. And so I do hope that you enjoy your practice and enjoy listening to this beautiful music track created just for class by Skies Minus Music. slowly start to make our way back to the center of the mat. Nice job. We're going to grab our strap for this next posture and we're going to take the strap underneath the sole of the right foot so you can keep that left knee bent supporting you on the floor. Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, taking one side of the strap in each hand. 
then I want you as best as you can to find a straight leg because we have the spine supported on the floor. Even if that means you need to take the leg down a little bit more. If that bottom leg feels okay to straighten out along the mat, then feel free to do so. Relax, soften the shoulders. Soften the face. And just allow gravity to assist you here. experiencing the sensations that you're feeling without attachment. Take another deep breath in here. And exhale, soften and let it go. We're gonna take both ends of the strap now into the left hand. I want you to use your right thumb and hook it into that right hip flexor. Just think about creating a little bit of space here. And then allowing the leg to fall up and over to the left just a couple of inches until you feel that strong sensation. We'll just take a few breaths here. Beautiful job. So you can go ahead and keep this leg straight or you could bend the knee. We're gonna be coming into a twist. We're gonna come into cat pulling its tail pose. So you can decide if you wanna keep holding the strap or bend that right leg, but take the leg up and over towards the left. You could reach the right arm out to a T or reach that right hand down to catch that left foot. Can you imagine a little bit more space across your collarbones as that right shoulder softens towards the floor? Can you cultivate a sense of ease with your breath and use your breath 
to continue to relax and soften the body. Be in the experience. Breathe deeply. And surrender. Last brother to hear. Relax that bottom left leg towards straight. Bend the right knee if it isn't already and flip yourself around onto your belly. I want you to keep the right knee in line with the right hip and the right ankle in line with the right knee so that you have that 90 degrees. Then lift yourself up on top of your forearms, coming into sphinx with the upper body. Energetically, and this is subtle, I want you to feel like the forearms are pulling back towards you, such that the heart has a little bit more lift and a little bit more space to come forward between the arms. Visualize with your breath that you can create more space between each vertebrae of your spine. A little bit more depth of breath through the rib cage. And that subtle guided sensation that you're leading your heart forward. Thank you.
Take one last deep breath in here. And at the bottom of the exhale, slowly, mindfully, beginning to release out of your posture. And then we'll slowly start to transition ourselves back around onto the back. Keep that right knee pulling in towards you. Take your strap back underneath the right foot. Extend the leg back up towards the sky. And we're going to take the strap into the right hand. Use the left hand on top of that left leg just to help ground the left sit bone down as you open the right leg, open to the right. And only let the leg open up so far as it can before the left hip tries to peel up off the mat. I really want you to feel like that left side body is grounding down. If at any point you want to bend that right knee and just hold on to the knee with the right hand, that's just fine as well. Last breath here. And slowly bringing the leg back in towards center. You can release the strap off towards the side for now. Feel free to flex and point the foot for a moment. Let's fold the forehead up towards the shin. And then go ahead and release that right leg back down towards the mat. Let the left knee fold in, and then just for a moment, let's windshield wiper the knees from side to side. 
And here's where we're going to grab our block. Our next pose is a supported bridge pose. So press into the feet, float the hips up, and then take the block on any setting that works for you underneath the sacrum. You can keep the knees bent, or you could straighten the legs out. Maybe reach the arms up above your head, take opposite elbows, or keep them straight. Find any position that works for you. And just think about completely softening into the block and enjoy this opening for the front of your body. And with every single breath you take, reminding yourself to be in the experience. Nice and slow, we'll start to fold the knees back in. Relax the arms down beside you and take your time here as you release out of the pose, firming through the feet to float the hips up. Slide the block out from underneath and go ahead, let the sacrum land back on the mat. Maybe windshield wiper the knees again from side to side and feel the echo of that in your body. Maybe hugging the knees in towards the chest, gently rocking from side to side. Mm -hmm. 
and then the feet will come back down to the mat. Banana asana on the second side, floating the hips over towards the left this time. Legs and torso over to the right. Finding whatever variation of this posture suits you. And breathing into the left side of your body. Softening into the mat. Last couple deep breaths here. And gently take your time to come back into center. And let's take our strap, this time underneath the sole of the left foot. Extending the left leg up towards a version of straight that works for you. Right knee can stay bent and supporting on the mat. Or you could extend that leg towards straight. With the 
strap on both hands, thinking about relaxing the shoulders. Softening the face. And energetically, still feeling the sole of the left foot extending upward. Opening up behind that leg. Beautiful. And as you feel ready, I want you to take both ends of the strap into your right hand. Let's take that left thumb and tuck it in towards that left hip flexor. Just think about creating a little bit of space there and let that left leg fall a couple of inches over towards the right side, just until you feel a sensation. Just a couple breaths like this. Nice job. Bend that knee if you want to, or keep the legs straight. You can hold on to the strap if you like. Coming into your twist now. And either extend that left arm out beside you to a T, or fold the bottom knee in for cat pulling its tail pose.
next breath here. And then relaxing that bottom leg towards straight. Let the left knee bend, flip yourself around onto your belly. Left leg is gonna find that 90 degree angle. We'll come up onto the forearms, back into Sphinx Pose. Finding the energetics of gently pulling back on the forearms. And letting the heart come forward. Last couple breaths in this posture. And then gently go ahead and relax the upper body down to the floor. Let's flip ourselves back around. We'll grab the strap and we'll take the strap back underneath that left leg. Strap into the left hand, opening the leg out to the side, firming the right sit bone down. Breathing here.
and gently draw the leg back in towards center. Point and flex that foot a little bit. You can release the strap off to the side. And then we'll take hold of the leg and gently fold the forehead up towards the shin and relax back down. Beautiful job. Hug both knees in towards the chest. Give yourself another rock from side to side. And then we'll plant the feet back down. Extend the legs, flip yourself back onto your belly. Take the hands underneath the shoulders and go ahead and shift yourself all the way back into child's pose. And as you land with the hips sinking on top of the heels, imagining expanding the breath into the back space. Asking yourself, what would it feel like to surrender here completely, physically, mentally, spiritually? Slowly beginning to lift yourself up. We'll start to crawl the knees forward along the mat. And we'll go ahead and sit down. You're going to face the long side of your mat. So you can face towards me. Extend the legs out into your open V position. We'll come into dragonfly. Shrug the shoulders back. Take an inhale. Lift up. Exhale, begin to fold forward as much as is available for you right now. And remembering that you can always use the option of a prop, taking your block underneath the sit bones to give yourself a little bit of added height. Or you could stack a couple pillows on top of each other. Always making the pose work for you in the moment. Thank you. 
more breaths here. And taking your time to slowly come on up, fold the knees in, bring the legs together, give yourself a gentle hug here. And then come on up, bring the hands behind you, take the feet wide, and start to windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And the next time the knees come over towards the left, we're gonna pause and we're gonna set up deer pose. So you'll take the left shin parallel to the top of the mat, take that right leg into that 90 degree angle, right knee out from hip, right ankle in line with the knee. Shrug your shoulders back, take an inhale, get tall. Exhale, folding forward for deer pose. And at this point in the practice, you should be feeling pretty connected to what's going on internally. You may have noticed certain thoughts nagging you multiple times throughout your practice, and that's okay, that's normal. Always meeting every thought that comes through your awareness, just like we do with the sensations, with that gentle, compassionate, awareness. And because in this practice we're giving ourselves permission to be here now, we don't have to pay particular attention to any certain thoughts, we don't have to get attached to how a pose looks. Just tuning into how we can serve ourselves best by accepting the current moment exactly as it is not needing to change a thing gently start to bring yourself back up beautiful keeping your left leg exactly where it is for a moment lean way over to the left enough that you can swing the right leg around in front of you we'll transition into square pose stacking the right ankle roughly on top of the left knee 
Maybe you'll take one of your blocks underneath that right leg if you wanted a little bit more support. Take your inhale, get tall. And your exhale, starting to come forward. Deep, conscious breathing. If you feel like where you are is perfect and you're feeling enough sensation, then stay right here. As an option, you could try to pick up the torso, move it over towards that right foot, and then exhale forward on the diagonal. Just an experiment to see how this variation might feel. Bring yourself back to center if you're not already there. Take one more breath. Slowly rise back up, shrug the shoulders back. And we'll release, extending the legs forward in front of you. And then we're gonna flip ourselves around, so turn over towards the right and come onto the knees. Relax the sit bones down. We're going to take an ankle stretch here by picking up the left knee. So you can use one of the hands behind you and one of the hands on top of that knee. Just gently. We won't be here for too long. But tipping the weight back. So that you feel that nice stretch for the top of the foot. Mm -hmm. 
just another moment or two here. Soften the knee back down towards the mat, beautiful. As an option for our next pose, you could take a block between the legs so that you have a little bit more support here and rest the sit bones between the feet on the block. Go ahead and grab your strap. We're gonna take a shoulder opener. Let's float the left arm up and bend the elbow. You can use the right hand to help gently guide that opening for the shoulder. Or you can use your strap, so taking one of the strap in that left hand and then reach the right arm behind so that you have something to hold on to. Of course, if you feel like you might be able to reach fingertips, you could take a bind behind the back if it's available. Relax into the shoulders as much as possible. Relax into the chest. Breathe fully and freely wherever you are. Keeping the arms where they are, I want you to float the hips up so that you're stacking hips on top of the knees and then tuck the toes behind you. Start to lift into the chest, then you can release your arms, reach the right arm towards the right heel, or maybe use your block somewhere outside the right foot for support, and float the left arm up. Half camel pose. We're not going to be here for very long. Of course, this is more yang than a lot of yin poses that we practice, but can you do your best in this moment to find that yin side? Can you allow softness even in the more challenging postures? Knowing that at any time, if you need to come down, that's available to you. So being gentle as we hold here for just a few more breaths. Finding the yin in the yoga. the hands down in front of us, press into the hands and round into a cat back, let that go. 
Good. And then we're going to rotate around. We're going to be extending the right leg long. The left shin is behind. Coming into half frog pose. Slowly sliding that right leg out along the mat. Lowering elbows down. Maybe towards a block or towards the floor or staying up on top of the hands. Wherever you are is perfect. And again, this pose comes at us with a lot of yang energy. But doing your best to find that yin side. What is the minimum amount of effort that you need to hold the pose? Gently start to rise back up. Wiggle the right foot back in towards the midline. Crawl the knees forward. Sit back down. Give yourself a gentle hug here. Beautiful job. Using the hands behind you, let's windshield wiper the knees on the floor again from side to side. Next time the legs are over towards the right, let's pause there and set up deer pose on the second side. Right shin parallel to the top of the mat. Left leg in that 90 degree angle. Take your inhale to lift up and your exhale to start to fold forward. Continue to stay present with your breath and feel your way through the experience.
rising back up. Keeping the right leg where it is, lean over to the right, release the left leg around in front. Setting up square pose, left ankle, over top of the right knee or any cross-legged position that works for you. Inhaling. And exhaling to come forward. Stay exactly where you are, if that's what works for you. Or you could pick up the chest. Frame the left foot with your hands and see what it feels like to fold forward on the diagonal over the left foot. Slowly bring yourself back to center if you're not already there. And then slowly rising back up. Leaning back, extend the legs in front of you and then flip yourself around so that you're landing on top of the knees. Let's take that ankle stretch with the right leg this time. So taking one hand to the knee and one hand behind you floating the knee up just enough that you start to feel that stretch. Thank you. 
and soften the knee back down towards the floor, beautiful job. Maybe you're gonna take the block underneath the sit bones. Float the right arm up, use the left hand on top. Use your strap between the hands or float the left arm around behind. Maybe you'll find a bind behind your back. Wherever you are, thinking about softening through the shoulders, breathe into the belly and into the chest. Keeping the arms where they are, float the hips up, take the knees underneath the hips, tuck the toes behind you, send the pelvis forward, lift the heart up towards the sky, and maybe reach that left hand back for the left heel or towards a block, right arm floating up. Taking full breaths here. a shorter hold it's a little bit more intense than we might be used to in our yin practice but just like we did on the other side and you find that gentle relaxing yin energy even in a more challenging posture and it's in practices like this where we are breathing where we are a little bit uncomfortable. So let this time and this practice be your safe space to find that energy so that when you're out in the world and a challenging scenario comes to you, you're better equipped to keep your center and look to your breath. becoming less reactive in our lives. done inhale coming up plant the hands back down press it and round the spine into your cat back and then slowly pivoting yourself around extend the left leg out beside you right shin behind staying up on the hand slide the leg out just as much as you need to until you meet sensation Breathe deeply where you land. Find stillness. And surrender.
gently with care start to rise back up. Wiggle the foot back in, release it behind you. Crawling the knees along the mat. Sit down and extend the legs. Give them a little shake from side to side. Beautiful job. Lying back down on the mat. Let's bring the knees in one more time. Let them fall over towards the left. Pausing here. Taking them up and over towards the right. And slowly back into center. Bring the knees in towards the chest, wrap the arms around the legs, give yourself one last gentle squeeze here. Maybe fold the forehead up to meet the knees, deep breath in. And exhale, go ahead and start to soften into your final resting pose. the fingertips to curl and the palms to face up. Allow the legs to flop open in either direction. Surrendering completely to this experience. Shavasana. Gently starting to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Rolling through your wrists and through your ankles. And let's draw the legs together and float the arms up above the head, rolling over onto one side and pausing for a moment. taking your time to come back up to a comfortable seated position. And let's find stillness together for a moment. 
noticing any differences that you feel in the body now versus when you first rolled out your mat. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart in gratitude. And I thank you so much for joining me for this 90-minute practice. If you like this video and you want to see more long classes, please leave a like, a comment, and maybe subscribe because it really does help support the channel. Namaste.